Hello. Let's do all the good things first. Okay. Here we go. The biggie. My sister Linda Grace had a radical lumpectomy. And fortunately, they didn't find any more cancer cells than what they originally found. And she's either going to have to have uh, radiation or pills. And believe me, she don't like the pills, so I have a feeling it'll be radiation. But to all of you that prayed, this is her fourth bout of cancer. And to all of you that prayed and kept her in your prayers, I love you all. I appreciate it. And she thanks you most of all. And she will keep all of you in her prayers. This is a wonderful, wonderful Christmas present. And with help from all of you, made it nicer. This I am very grateful for. Thank you. I know sometimes people ask for things on YouTube and they forget to thank the people who actually help them. So from me to you, may your holidays be the greatest and I love you all for thinking of her and praying for her. Okay. Now that that's done. Uh, Rebecca, I hope you got my Happy birthday, Shannon. Sweetie, I hope I sent you to the right place, but I sang you happy birthday. I truly hope you got it. Kathy, sweetheart, yes, I did not forget her birthday, and I did send her a video. I don't know where it is, or if I got lost, or whatever. And Molly, I love you, darling. I love the walk I went on through town, and for this, I too am most grateful. Okay, for all of you out there that do not know me, here's where it stands. I'm agoraphobic. Uh, unfortunately, it's so bad that I couldn't even go see my sister through her ordeal with the cancer. And uh, I weighed 386 pounds. I am now down to 261 pounds. And my Christmas wish. Oh, I wished it last year. I'll wish it one more time. And I have a feeling I'll be wishing it a lot more time. If it ever happens. Is to see Julia Michaels from The Biggest Losers. That's my Christmas wish. It won't happen. And I... In my heart, I know it won't, but that still is my biggest Christmas wish. That is my only Christmas wish. I'm 64. There's <coughs> not a whole heck of a lot more you can, you know. It's cool when you have just about everything that makes you a little bit comfortable. But anyway, I love you all, and happy birthday to the two of you, and... Uh, Life is what life is. Now, to everyone else, happy holidays. And uh, topic for the day now. I think I covered everybody? Probably. Okay. Topic for the day now. I love. Wonderful topic. It involves so many things. Like, uh, do your children see your grandparents? Their grandparents? Do you let them? Or are you mad at your grandparent? Or your mother and father? Well, let me tell you a little secret. For, I wish everybody would watch this particular video because it's really an important subject. You know, you're being angry at your parents does not help your children. They want to know where they come from, who their parents are, 
what their likes and dislikes are as they're growing up. And surprisingly enough, I know this because you see, when I was little, I got my mother her Christmas presents because I knew my grandmother. And she was able to say to me, this is what my daughter likes and this is what your mother likes, etc., etc., and so forth. And it worked. It worked pleasantly well, matter of fact. And remember, because you're angry or they're angry at you has absolutely nothing to do with your children. Your children are different people. They're little people that need to grow up and learn about you and their environment and the people that they're supposed to be loving and having loved them. You know, normally I would sit here and uh, just keep going at 92 miles an hour. Well, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to flip and flap. Okay, if you don't mind. Uh, I believe in my heart that love is the biggest thing in the world. Because it's something that's untouchable and yet could kill you. Yes, it could. I have known people who have died of a broken heart. Literally, because their partner died and they gave up. So yes, people do die of a broken heart. Maybe not today, tomorrow, and the next day, but people do. Maybe someone you know did, but you didn't realize that's what it was. You lost two people very close within a very short period of time. You see, so love can be deadly and love can be the most wonderful thing in the world. And this is the holidays. When love seems to stand out, it's how much you care, not how much you give, just how much you care. Ask yourself, did you know your grandparents? Better still, ask you something. Is there something about your mom and your pop that you don't know, that you would have liked to have known? Is there something in their lives that you think you know but you're not sure of? Well, now see, had you had grandparents, or if you have grandparents, time to ask them. And if you had grandparents, it would have been good to ask. If you're in the multitude, you spend time with them and maybe you weren't as inquisitive. If you're of the minority who wasn't allowed to see grandparents, then you have a lot of questions. And you might know the funny part, it doesn't matter how old you are. Because I'm 64 and I look back once in a while and I say, I wonder if when she was younger, she ever, or something will happen on television. Oh, that's when my mom was born. I wonder if she ever did that. Well, I'll never get to know. But I truly believe that hundreds of people should watch this video and realize that they're being very, very selfish by not letting your children see their grandparents. Call it a historical thing if you want. History in the making. Because that's what it is, you know. Oh, you keep secrets. <laughs> All kinds of secrets from your kids. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're the great parent. <laughs> but think about it. how many questions do have they asked, will they ask, and the ones you know that are coming that you just won't answer. And why is this? <laughs> well, it's not only because you're ashamed, but it was a different era, so it seems quite different. And because it's, it was a different era, 
What was good then isn't necessarily good now, so you feel a little peculiar. But guess what, grandparents do not give a damn. We don't. Grandchild comes to ask you a qu asks me a question, I will tell her or him whatever it is they need to know. Oh yeah, I will. Ask a question, I give an answer. And that's why that little word grand <laughs> means a whole lot of goodies. We're allowed to tell tales. We're allowed to exaggerate just a hair. <laughs> We're allowed to do a whole lot of things. So, uh, I have to tell you, I don't know, they told me my time is extended, but I don't know by how much, so I'll semi-wrap this up. Uh, if you're out there, it's the holidays. If you don't want to make peace with your mother and father, that's fine. You don't want to make peace with your in-laws, that's fine too. But do not, I beg you, do not deprive your children from all of their love, all of their attention, all of their caring. Because this is what helps them grow up. This is one of the things that helps mold them. There are a lot of factors that mold a child. And if you take one of those factors away, the molding isn't quite complete. And it's not fair to them. It's really not. I mean, you made your choice. That was your choice. Let them make their own choice. Making their own choices, it's fabulous. This is how children grow up and learn to make choices. Learn to decide what's right and what's not, what's good and what's bad. Who's good, who's bad? Not always on you, I'll say so, because let me tell you, I am 64, and I listen to no one when they say so-and-so isn't good. If I can't judge for myself, shame on me. Shame, shame on me. But I've been that my whole life. I do not judge people on other people's comments. Because those two just may not get along. And I may get along just fine. That goes for your children and your parents. And your in-laws. Give your children the time, the courtesy, the love. Give them one of the, their branches on the tree. The tree of knowledge, and that's what it is. The tree of knowledge. To learn a little more about where, who they are and where they're from. And look at all that love that we're missing out on. Because you're being selfish. Oh, there's always a way to get around it. Drop them off for a few hours, pick them up. You don't even have to go in the house. Let them come down to the car. Whatever. If you want to stay angry, stay angry. But personally, if you have children, I don't think you should stay angry. Because these children deserve to know and to feel the love of a grandparent. Grandparents are funny people. We mellow in age. We do. I mean, I used to not believe that, but we do. <laughs> we sure do. And life... Oh, God. Life... Don't belong only to you. It belongs to your children. And your parents. And your in-laws, and etc., etc. Life is a wonderful thing. And it, 
has millions and millions of reasons 